Hello everyone, welcome to the Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Starting a new morning. Going around checking things that uh, didn't get back in time to check on yesterday. Looks like Tatai's got this, uh, he's got the uh, interchange drain blocked up on this, that's good. Uh, he put in a drain on this side. I'm going to get a ball valve. And he actually uh, put a screen in there. That's good. Perhaps I can tell by looking at that. And if that drains a little bit high, I'm going to have to bust out some of that uh, cement on, around the bottom there. Because I think it's about a, it's going to have about a quarter inch uh, lip on it there fed these guys they were hungry and these down here as well see if I can creep up on them here so you can see how thick they are in there there's a lot of fry in that tank those are the ones that we uh, hatched here or that were hatched here in there they usually make a little dive when I get close here You can see there, there's a lot of fry in there, and that's what we need to make the other floating cage for, is these guys here. So, I'm going to, we've got to go to Scott and Gertie's wedding today. I don't know how, how long we're going to be there. Uh, well, I can say we're going to bug out of there before noon. Because I've just got too much stuff to do around here. So, I'm going to get back here and work on this aeration for these tanks. Uh, we'll fill this one. I think I've got some caps around here. I'll cap the end of this. Fill this one, put some uh, banana leaves in it, start it curing. Uh, probably cure this for about a week I'm thinking and then we'll be able to use it again I don't know might have to wait one more day for this to dry it's still looking kind of kind of wet in there yeah maybe I'll just well let's see Yeah, I guess it's tried enough. So I'll get this capped and get some water in it today, and start it curing. I'm not going to cure it for that long because it's only the bottom. It's only the cement on the bottom that needs to be neutralized. Uh, nothing on the side, so I don't have my pH test strips anymore, so I'm going to be a little bit lost. I've been meaning to order some, but I've I continually forget. What Tatai did here is he he made a little V there. I don't know if you how clear that's coming up on video, but he basically raised that end. Since it's all the way over the interchange pipe, I'm thinking maybe two inches and put a little bit of a V in it and, and just tapered it down to where there's nothing down here. Perfect. So I'm going to go get the feed for the rest of the fish and check things down at the pond. Well, this is the first morning that these fish that we transferred have eaten anything. This is the second or third day they've been in here, I can't remember. But they, they're they still not hitting that feed hard. There is a lot of natural feed out in there. There's a lot of grass and stuff for them. But uh, they should be... Yeah, they're kind of picking at it. But they're not just, they're not hitting the feed hard.
definitely not hitting it hard. This crew up here, on the other hand, this bunch, are really onto their feed. I don't know when Tatai's going to have time to do it, but I did ask him to take another 30 nets of fish out of this <coughs> and transfer them over there. And we're in the process of uh, pumping water just as fast as we can because that, that, that last pond there, the water level has fallen about 8 inches in the last 3 days. Because it's not, it's not anywhere near, near sealed yet. Now I have had the electric pump uh, pumping into this pond a little bit, and it's actually coming up a little bit. But it's still far from uh, far from overtopping, uh, probably four or five inches. I had Tatai pump water directly into this old main pond yesterday because I wanted to add enough water into it so that I could move the uh, move the floating cage uh, closer to the edge so that I could feed the fish because I'm still feeding them, feeding them this fry mash and you can't really throw it uh, very far into the air so I'm gonna go over and find me a little stick somewhere and uh, and pull that cage right to the edge and uh, put some feed in it and feed those guys. Alright, well I got some feed in there and zoom in a little bit there so you can see them. They're, they're definitely eating because they didn't get fed yesterday. So they're hungry little boys and girls today. They should be ready for the starter in about two weeks. And even if I have to grind up that starter a little bit, uh, that's what they're gonna that's what they're gonna start eating. Yeah, they're doing well. doing really well. So I'm pleased with this floating cage. We're going to pull it down to the other end down there and uh, anchor it, keep it in place because I don't want to have to keep chasing this thing around uh, now that there's, you know, there's enough water to float it all the way down to this end now. So we're definitely going to have to anchor it in place, uh, preferably right up next to this bank. So that's the plan. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.